new tutorial from Tech Guide VB. I am your host, and you are watching our channel. So let's get started. Today we are starting a new series called PHP MySQL. PHP is one of the most widely used server-side scripting language for web development. Popular websites like Facebook, Yahoo, Wikipedia, etc., and our very websites are developed using PHP. PHP is so popular because it's very simple to learn, code, and deploy on server. Hence, it has been the first choice for beginners since decades. In this tutorial series, we will be covering all the important concepts. Of PHP language from basics to advanced, and we also share some ready-to-use useful code snippets for beginners to kickstart their web development project. So PHP, PHP stands for Hypertext Preprocessor. PHP is a scripting language used for used to develop static and dynamic web pages and web applications here are few important things you must know about php so before you continue you should have a basic understanding of the following that is html css and javascript so if you know this html css and javascript it's very good if you don't know please comment down in the comment section and i will provide the introductory video to understand html css javascript so if you don't know please comment in a comment box so php is an acronym for hypertext preprocessor php is a widely used open source scripting language so php is a open source scripting language php scripts are executed on the server so php is free to download and use so how to download and how to use this php and how to a download the server that video i have already uploaded on the channel so if you don't know do watch this video to understand how to download and install the latest version of xam server so php is a server scripting language and a powerful tool for making dynamic and interactive web pages so it is used for making dynamic and interactive web pages it is also used to make a static web pages also a dynamic web pages and we can develop the interactive web pages also with the help of php so what is the syntax so the syntax given here is the question mark php it starts with the question mark php and ends with the question mark and it has a brackets so it is a syntax for creating a web page using php so starts with question mark php and ends with question mark that is the syntax for php so here we will see some of the differentiation points between server side scripting language and client side scripting language and on the left side first column there are the comparison points or you can say the parameters for the comparison so if we consider the basic comparison so server side scripting language works in the back end which could not be visible at the client end for the client side scripting it works at the front end and scripts are visible among the users so if you consider the second point for the comparison that is the processing 
for the server side scripting it requires server interaction and for the client side scripting it does not need interaction with the server so this is the comparison for the processing point of view if we consider the third point for the comparison that is the languages involved so in server side scripting php asp.net ruby on rails cold fusion python etc are involved for the client side scripting html css javascript etc are, are the languages involved if you consider the fourth point for the comparison that is effect so in server side scripting it could be effectively customize the web pages and provide dynamic websites so in server side scripting we can provide the customized web pages and dynamic websites in client side scripting it can reduce the load to the server because it doesn't work on a server it only requires a client so it reduces the load on the server in the fourth point of comparison that is the security point of view in server side scripting it is there relatively secure than the client side scripting and it is in the client side scripting it is a insecure so in nutshell we can say that the server side scripting languages are the <clears throat> very important and modern kind of languages and which have the many more features to execute and it has a advantage to use in in uh, client side scripting if if the websites or web pages are small and static we can develop that websites and web pages using the client side scripting language which has a less load on the server and it is quietly insecure so next we will see the what are the static websites and what are the dynamic sites or dynamic websites in static websites we can't change the content of the website at the runtime that is very important for the static website we can't change the content at the runtime so what are the advantages of static websites it is quick to develop low cost to develop it is ideal for small website and it is faster to transfer for the dynamic websites it is a collection of web pages the content changes dynamically so at the run time the content can be changed in the dynamic websites dynamic website use the scripting language to generate the dynamic content it is mainly use content management system so if you don't know what is content management system so there are the separate playlist in the channel called the website development so you can watch that and you can clear your concepts regarding content management system like wordpress or joomla so what are the advantages of dynamic websites it is useful for e-commerce site it is provided alternative look so it is very useful for professional websites or e-commerce sites so then we will see what is the features what are the features of php and how these features are important in perspective of the web development so the first feature is php is a simple language so how we can say the php is simple language because it generally includes the simple tags to execute so it is a simple so second feature is interpreted it is an interpreted language that is there is no need for compilation third feature is faster so it is faster than other scripting languages that is asp and jsp fourth is the open source so open source means you no need to pay for using php 
you can free to use and download so the fifth is platform independent php code will be run on every platform that is linux unix mac os or windows the next is the case sensitive so php is case sensitive scripting language at the time of variable declaration in php all keywords that is if else while echo etc classes functions and user defined functions are not case sensitive so these are some of the features of php or remaining features are efficiency simplicity platform independence that has that that are also important then the client server architecture if we see the any server side scripting language it has a client server architecture because what the client does the client request for the any task and that, that task is goes to the web server in this case the web server is apache so that that task is goes to apache that request and then it forwards to the application server here the application server is php so that task forward to php application server and php execute that code and if it requires the database server that is mysql in that case that script goes to the mysql database server and it processes on that and it gives the output to php application server and through php application server output goes to the web server that is apache and through the apache the output or the response or result goes to the client and client gets the desired output so this is the client server architecture which is used in php so what are the best open source php servers that is xamp wamp and lamp so xamp for both the platforms cross platform that is for windows as well as linux mac os etc wamp is for the windows and lamp is only for the linux so more preferably the xamp is used as a php web server 